My name is Eric Madison. I am a rheumatologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm going to talk a little bit about rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory disease that affects mainly small joints, the joints of the hands, the joints of the feet, but can affect virtually any joint in the body. We don't know what the cause of rheumatoid arthritis is, but we do know that it's an autoimmune disease, which means that the body attacks itself. The immune system, for some reason, becomes overactive and chooses as its target what we call the synovium, which is the lining of joints. And when the immune system attacks the joints, the, the joints become inflamed, and after a while there is swelling, and if the swelling and inflammation goes on long enough, it will destroy the joints. And the way that it does that is it causes the synovium to bleed into or invade into the joints and damage the cartilage and damage the bone and the tendon structures around the joints so that they become deformed and over time become unusable. The majority of patients who develop rheumatoid arthritis are women. About three out of four patients who have rheumatoid arthritis, or 75% of patients, are women. We don't know exactly why this is, but it likely has something to do with hormones. Other things that we know that can trigger rheumatoid arthritis, or at least are associated with developing rheumatoid arthritis, include smoking. People who smoke have about a double risk for developing rheumatoid arthritis. We also know that there are a number of genes that predispose people to getting rheumatoid arthritis. And while there's not one specific gene that we could say causes rheumatoid arthritis, we know that there are several genes that can either enable the immune system to be more active or fail to shut off an already active immune system that contributes to the inflammation that we see that results in rheumatoid arthritis symptoms of joint pain and swelling. The risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis is somewhat higher if you have a family member who has rheumatoid arthritis or some other autoimmune disease such as lupus erythematosus. The risk is about double if you have a family member with rheumatoid arthritis, but overall, a person's risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis is about one in 200 lifetime. At Mayo Clinic, we have a state-of-the-art facility which has a very long record of research and treatment into rheumatoid arthritis. Steroids were actually discovered and used for the first time at Mayo Clinic in the management of rheumatoid arthritis already in the 1940s. Since then, at Mayo, we've had very many advances in the understanding of how rheumatoid arthritis affects patients, why rheumatoid arthritis causes more heart disease in patients, with rheumatoid arthritis than in people who don't have rheumatoid arthritis, how to manage that problem. And we have state-of-the-art facilities for clinical trials and for the treatment of this disease. As well, we work very closely with our colleagues in orthopedics to manage the problems of the damaged joint when patients need joint replacement. Some of the new therapies that we're developing at Mayo Clinic are oriented around regeneration of the immune system and regeneration of damaged cartilage and bone in the joint through stem cell research. So we're looking at an exciting future in the management of rheumatoid arthritis.